with Norm MacDonald. And you know, you kind of oh surprised me because you, uh, you did MTV Beach House <laughs> recently. Yeah. And, and you know, I, there's a certain kind of person you expect to show up oh, yeah. on the MTV Beach House. And I hear, we'll be right back with MTV Beach House. Our special guest, Norm MacDonald. Yeah, I'm like, what the horrible. hell are you doing? It's a sh it's what this, was that? It's this show on MTV, right? I know. And it's at a beach. It's at a know? beach. And they don't. They don't script anything, like, you know, they, they do, like, for, anyway, so the, the dude, the host, was like, hey, Norm, can you wear a, do you mind wearing a, a pair of uh, trunks, you know, bathing trunks? And I go, no, I don't want to wear that, you know, because I'm like, uh, my body's like all weird looking and everything. <laughs> and uh, all these, everybody else is super hot ladies and super hot men, you know, I don't, you know, whatever. Whatever you, <laughs> wow, so, uh, got an issue about that. <laughs> all right, go ahead. So I'm on the show, right? So they're saying, hey, come on, seriously, put on the trunks. I'm like, no, man, I don't want to. So then they, uh, they think this will be funny. They go, hey, we're going to show you a fashion show. Some dudes will come out, you know, uh, and show you, the, you see what you think. I go, what? So all of a sudden, these three dudes come out, right, dancing around in their uh, thongs and shorts and everything. They're wearing thongs or shorts? Which it's, one? Uh, bathing trunks, but some of them are like thongs where you can see their uh, dirty arses. So, <laughs> so, so, I'm, so I'm like watching it, you know, and I'm like, oh, it's like man. like Chaucer. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. <laughs> I guess it is. Okay, go old ahead. English. So I said, you know, oh, yeah, no, I'm just trying to go, oh, yeah, that's funny, right? <laughs> And, uh, you do a lot of that at yeah. MTV. Yeah. <laughs> so then the guy, the host, he goes to this one guy who is very, very, very gay. He goes, <laughs> "What? How do you know that?" <laughs> no, I mean, you had a you know, sign. <laughs> yeah, he looked very, very gay. He says to this dude, he says, "Hey, I'll give you twenty bucks if you lap dance uh, on Norm." You know what I mean? Right. All of a sudden, this dude, like, "Hey, twenty bucks." I guess he didn't have much money. Starts <laughs> running towards me, right? <laughs> So I look up, here's this nude, almost nude dude running towards me, right? So I think in my head, okay, man, pretty soon the guy's going to be writhing around on my lap with his ass, you know? And uh, I don't want that on TV, you know, forever. No, they... it's okay to talk about it, but yeah. you don't want to see it. Right. They videotape that and for it's there forever. So meanwhile, what can I do? You know, you can't hit a guy because it looks bad. You know what I mean? You know? Even yeah. though, of course, a woman could hit a, a naked guy running at him. Sure, that's fine. okay. But, but a man can't hit him. Yeah. So I have to think fast. It's only a second. So I bolt. I take off, right? <laughs> <laughs> you started running, too? Yeah, running down the beach. <laughs> The guy catch you or no? Yeah, you know? and then I had to come back on. They're like, oh, Mr. Homophobic. I won't, won't let a guy grind his ass into you. <laughs> uh, you got to work on that. Hey, I'm going to miss Andy on this show, man. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got to leave. Huh? How bad is that, huh? Yeah, he should stay. You uh, want to stay. Ah, uh, you should stay. Good move. You should stay. <laughs> Yeah, you just you killed everyone's joy tonight. No, I swear to God, though, uh, when you got the great. You sit on a couch for the living. You should think about not giving that up. <laughs> That's a great job. That's a great job. You sit on a couch. Yeah. And you sit on a chair. It got to be. <laughs> it got to be too much, though. I'm looking to lay down. <laughs> Yeah. Gotta tone it down a bit. Yeah, no, but you're a great man, and uh, uh, I'm gonna miss you on, on the show, you. man. You're Thank a great you. man, isn't he? Thank you. Great. Man. Maybe he'll change his mind. Maybe. I keep asking him. Yeah. He's like, nope. Maybe if the internet, they start like write and save Andy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not save him because he, he's it's leaving. His choice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the hard thing. Okay. Uh, now listen, we want to talk about your uncle, because every time you come on the show, you have a story about your uncle who lives up in Canada. Oh, yeah, he's a Frenchman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you always have, like, a little story Jean about him. Jean-Luc. Jean oh, yeah, he's a crazy character, that dude. He originally visited New York City. Hello? <laughs> I'm just having a drink. I can listen to you and have a drink. It's not like I went like this. Hold it. Ooh. Ah, liquid. Huh? I'm still here. Let's see if I got this right. 
You've got an uncle who lives up in Canada named Jean Luc. <laughs> Jean Luc. Occasionally he visits. Once he time he visited New York. <laughs> so I, I'm living in New York, you know. And uh, Jean Luc, I, I am excited. Jean Luc's going to come back. My crazy Frenchman uncle. So he gets in the cab, right? When he gets to the airport. Yeah, when he gets to the airport, the cab driver picks him up, and the cab driver says to him, "Hey, Frenchman," he says. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he says, uh, do you like uh, riddles, you know? So my uncle Jean-Luc is like, ah, yes, I love the riddles. That's how he talks. <laughs> he goes, I like nothing better than a riddle. So <laughs> the cab, he's like, all right, here's one, right? So he's, here's the riddle. His brothers and sisters, I have none. But this man's father is my father's son. So my, uh, uh, my uncle goes, ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> right? So the cab, he goes, uh, it's me. It's me. Oh, yeah. Makes oh, sense. Oh, he thinks about it. Oh, by God. He says, that's a good uh, riddle there. He says, I have to tell my wife, Mary Claire, when I get back to Gaspé. That's where he lives, Gaspé. Right. So uh, he's like, uh, take me back to the airport. And the cab is like, what? Right? <laughs> the cab's like, I thought you wanted to go visit Norm then. No, no, no. I go back to the airport. All right. You know, I have to tell Mary Claire. Seems odd, right? Right. Gets back on the plane, flies all the way back home there to uh, Gaspé. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets back, right? Uh -huh. Runs in the door. Mary Claire, Mary Claire, let's move. You know, where are you, Mary right. Claire? Uh, come on down here. I have a riddle for you. She goes, oh, Jean-Luc, I love the riddle. She's a woman, high voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and Michael Jackson was visiting. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, oh, you're going to love this riddle. How was New York? Forget about that. I got the riddle. Uh, brothers and sisters, I have none. But this man's father, he's my father's son. She goes, oh, I don't know. Who is it? Some cab driver back in New York. <laughs> Be honest, you didn't mean to I do didn't that. at all. I just got to the end. <laughs> that guy, man, I always tell my uncle, you shouldn't curse him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to pick up the pieces. Yeah. Uh, the show is called Norm. Yeah, yeah. When is that on? That's on uh, Wednesday at 8.30. You already missed it, man. It's Thursday. <laughs> but it's on all more. They can watch yeah, it yeah. next time yeah. on, on ABC. Norm, uh, hey, I'm it's always amazing. Here, you're going to stick around. I know yeah. I'm just going to say thanks for the segment. No, but you're going to see Sean. That next guy is hilarious. All right, Sean he's going to stick around. Norm yeah. McDonald's going to stick around. Sean Hayes coming right out.